What's up guys, Tipati Percy here and welcome back to a short info slash news video. In this video I can explain short the newest info we got regarding the Russian roadmap and also some minor infos regarding Japanese English patch. First of all, um, I won't go through the migration and what you need to prepare and so on. I already made videos regarding that, what you can prepare for season 2.0 on the Russian server, so check it out in my YouTube channel. But I will still give you guys some infos or changes or modification regarding the approach towards Season 2.0 and also towards gearing Tier 3 um, based on the infos we can take out from the roadmap. So in October, we're gonna get Season 2 2.0 and uh, the new continent Python. In November, we're gonna get some hotfixes, so nothing major mostly. And in December, we're gonna get the Holy Night and a New Year's event. I really don't care about the New Year's event. Just to compare, in Korea, if I remember correctly, uh, Holy Night was released together or at the same time with Peyton. And um, yeah, Russia, it's two months apart. Based on all those infos, you have enough time to gear up your main if you already start to prepare a little bit. Uh, regarding season two as i mentioned in my previous videos check out the migration video once again um, so if you already started to prepare some stuff even if you are not that well prepared you will still have more than enough time to reach 1050 item level on multiple charts because of this kind of delayed uh, tier three we won't get tier three according to this roadmap we won't get tier three this year so once again you have enough time and you have more than enough time to prepare all the things which I mentioned in my migration list. And uh, you will also, in addition to that, have the time to max out Python. And you will have the time to max out, not max out, but um, get multiple chars to 1050 item level, which is required to, you know, once we get tier 3 gear, to go for the tier 3 gear. That's it. Um, personally, I'm kind of happy for all those people who are not whales and uh, didn't push too much so no need to push further than 15 to be honest even after getting tier 2.0 um, on the neos gear just get 2050 don't waste your gold on going further uh, especially after tier 2.0 um, uh, item level benefits you get or the attack damage benefits are lower than compared to season one if your enchantment is pretty high so if you fight currently uh, with plus 15 item level against a plus 20 sorry plus 15 uh, gear against a plus 20 geared guy um, the difference will be huge and that won't be the case anymore for season two there will be a difference but it won't be in a level of you know insta one hit as i mentioned i'm happy for all those free to play players or not hardcore or you know whale players um, but I'm not that happy with the progress speed we have in Russia currently. It is too slow. Now let's move on to the last bit of news uh, of this video, which is about the Japanese English patch. I already made an announcement regarding this on my Discord server and also shared the info on the Reddit server. Um, basically, um, the current Russian English patch server, if you have it, it will auto update to the newest version of the English patcher. You can just switch around on the top right uh, depending on which region you want to play so you don't have to download separate English patch for each of those regions That's a huge improvement and regarding Japanese English patch it should work now But it might stop working again towards the OBT and maybe also during the OBT because uh, We expect that they're gonna do some countermeasures to you know to make the encryption harder and make the English patch not work properly. So be prepared for that. And to be honest, I wouldn't even recommend everyone to use the English patch right at the beginning. Uh, the risks are really high, especially at OBT launch. Japanese launcher is made pretty smart and it's tricky to make an English patch. It keeps reapplying the Japanese version, even though the English patch applies the English version. Um, so it was hard for the English patch dev to make it work. Um, that's all the infos I got from him, so I will stay in contact with him and if I have any new infos regarding the patch or any new infos regarding Japanese servers, as you know, I will share it with you guys as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, see you guys on the next video. Bye bye, your Tea Party person.